All right, what is up guys? Back at it again with a one trick to challenger video. So this is gonna be my viewers video series where I go over each role and pick a champion and just go over the, their items, their builds. I'm gonna show you guys everything you need to do to be a one trick god on that champion, on that position. So I have five champions selected. We're gonna start at the very top and I'm gonna show you guys all the items and stuff you need to do and what kind of play style you'll have to incorporate to climb as these champions. Starting from the very top, Camille. So Camille, she's my favorite top laner one trick i i think she's very underrated she's always been a very consistent strong top laner in the meta and i, I think if you're able to learn how to play camille she's not one of those champions that just she's able to just win lane it's actually not as easy for her to win lane but she has a lot of outplay potential which is really important and she's an incredible split push slash scaling champion she kind of does it all where she can engage and just isolate that one fed ad carry so as a top laner there's a lot of power in your hands but she's a bit different in the way that you need to kind of you don't expect to just stomp lane and like go from lane phase and just distract no it's more you have to be very careful there's different ways to play your lane phase i personally like the grass build i think going grass into melee champions is very strong gives you good trade patterns but if you learn how to trade as her her early levels are usually the weaker ones so if your understanding of that is good, you're going to perform very well on her. She's a great split pusher. Her build path feels really good. I like the Divine Sunder. I mean, most stats, they do like your Divine Sunder, but it's up to you really how you want to play her. Incredible top laner, though. Definitely one of my go-tos if you want a one-trick top lane. Next, we have Jungle. Jungle, Rek'Sai is the queen herself. Rek'Sai, I've always said it, like, if you put 100 games on her, you will climb entire division. So if you're a bronze, you're going to be silver. If you're silver, you're going to be gold. And that's just how she is. That's how she operates. Every time I coach people on Rek'Sai, I, I, always, I always see such great progress because, like, there's so many small details you need to figure out but once you kind of figure out how to combo as her learning the combos learning some simple gang paths like red crux raptors you understand the champion's core identity you are able to perform very very well on her and she's just always been such a good good op jungler ever since uh prowler's claws been in the game and i don't see her dropping off at all so i think she's a great jungler to pick up and if you learn her it's very easy to learn her because you can just watch my stream you can watch my videos on her on YouTube, and then you can just easily become a Rek'Sai god. She's definitely the best jungler if you're trying to actually climb out of whichever division you are trying to climb out. Because even though people say Rek'Sai is bad low, she's not bad low elo. It's just you're bad low elo. But if you understand how to play her, it literally, she is completely in control of the game. She can carry without having to rely on only the ganks to carry for her. Build path, Prowler's Call into Edge and Ice to go too. I do like Grudge third, but there also is different build paths where you can go Cleaver, Sterix if you want to go more Bruiser. Conqueror is definitely the rune. Always go Conqueror. And moving on to the next one, we have Silas. Silas, Silas. You know, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Silas, but what I like about Silas is because he he's such a... He, he forces you to be an aggressive player in the mid lane. So even if you're not an aggressive player, if you actually want to do well on him and become a god of Silas, you're going to, learn, you're going to have to learn how to be aggressive. So he rewards you on being able to, you know, play that kind of aggressive lane style. She, he doesn't have great push, but he has incredible all-in. And he just has been such a strong, strong champion in the meta. He's always a great mid laner too. I think he does so much, and he's a very high skill one. You know, a lot of these one tricks are, are going to be higher on skill, you know, your skill, individual skill. You're going to have to perform really well on them, but it, it's something you're going to have to grind a lot of games on. So, like, when you put in those, like, 50 to 100 games on these champions, that's when you're really going to see, like, heavy results on how to actually play them. And Silas, I think he's, obviously, you've been watching Worlds, you can see how broken he can be. And he hasn't really been nerfed slash buffed too often. So, he's a good champion, a very staple mid, if you want to play for that aggressive mage play style bruiser. Build paths, I mean, the builds are going to be right there, and also the items are right there. I think whatever you feel like is best is definitely your my recommendation and moving on for ad carry kaiza so kaiza you know she's a very popular ad carry so being a popular champion can mean she gets banned often but also means she is always gonna be in the limelight of getting buffed slash adjusted so kaiza has always been sitting really well in the meta i, I think she's a good ad carry as like a stable ad carry i think she does very well in uh she, she's generally always in a good spot is how i look at her so she's never too bad so if you're the type of person who really wants to one trick her she's not a very common one trick but she's definitely a fun one so if you're like if you like that kind of diving in ad carry style she has some powers in her you know in her early phase she can win lanes for sure if you have 
a good pairing with your support. If you have a very aggressive support, you can easily go in and dive and kill people. She has a lot of opportunities to, you know, W snipe and ulti in and engage. And, you know, when you're playing AD carry as a class, as a role, it's not so much about what champion you're playing. It's more about how you play the game. So that when, you're, when you're playing AD carry, you really have to think about farm. And, you know, catching your waves is just good for me. Understanding how to wave control is personally the most important thing for an AD carry, knowing how to freeze and catch waves. That's something I can probably teach you guys in another video. But just remember, AD carry, very, very different in the sense that you have to really play around your waves and control about that. And Kai's is extremely good at that because she's very good. If people try to dive her at six, she's super good at surviving everything you want in AD carry and more. And she's also been in a really good spot currently in the meta. So... Moving on to the final position, that is the support position. So support Jenna. Jenna is the one trick that I think actually is so broken. I think if you put a hundred games into Jenna's support, she is super good. Her, her people think of Jenna as like a LOL, you know, like dumb E shield bot, but she's actually so much more. There's so much potential on Jenna. So if you're able to one trick her, angle your tornadoes, understand how to utilize, you know, her full power. She's actually a, a very good lane bully. He's a very strong champion. She has a lot of power. And you know, she's actually not the type of support that you want to just hide behind your AD carry. She's really, if the one, if you learn to take that kind of initiative in the lane phase where you're playing to trade, use your shield on yourself, auto attack a couple times, trade patterns, you know, this is what makes her really good. And her win rate always speaks for itself. Like she, she excels so well once you put a certain amount of games into her. And I always felt like she's been such a strong staple pick as a support in the support position for so long I've, I've i've seen her stats and she just looks crazy and that's because of the one trick skill level of the jana player so if you're able to reach that kind of level as jana the highest level possible you're going to perform very very well on this jana support and they're all you know i'm gonna put all the runes and items in later in the video but you know jana I, I i really do think she's a great support champion and all these champions are great one tricks but it's really more important about understanding the identity of each champion and the play style when you're trying to one trick something you're really investing into the the champion identity so when i play rex i really understand like my strength and weaknesses i need to play aggressive early game i need to get shit done i need to play for the early game get level three ganks try to really affect the map in a good way when i play camille i'm playing more to you know be stable play for split, try to get good engages off with my ER combo. So you have to really kind of push yourself to understand all these champion identities. And you're able to do this, you're going to have a really good time on one tricking whichever champion you end up picking. So hope you guys liked that video. Let me know in the comments below what you think and be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.